Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the November feature drop that is coming to Windows 11 24H2. Well, of course, as we're used to, Microsoft releases a major annual update, and also we have smaller feature drops. For example, we have this one coming in November. We're not sure yet how to call it. We were calling it Moment Updates before, but right now, a more up to date name would be Current Updates. Nonetheless, we can talk about some of the new things that are coming, and we're going to have two different sections. The section, of course, for the new AI stuff that is exclusive to GoPilot Plus PCs and also the other stuff that is coming to all users in November. So in this video, we're going to talk about all that. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. As I've said, we're going to do a quick preview. I'm not going to go in depth with any of the new features. I'm only going to mention them because whenever the update is released, we're going to do an in-depth video in which I'll show you all the new features that are released. Related to the AI stuff, there are still a few things that are not necessarily Copilot Plus exclusive. For example, the generative erase and paint is for all devices also generative fill could be for all devices we're not really sure here but we have a few things that are copilot plus exclusive for example click to do semantic search and file explorer super resolution and photos copilot plus experiences for amd64 devices and also we expected recall to be released but that is now postponed so i think 2025 is the year where we'll see recall finally released for copilot plus pcs at least other than that we have things for all users for example really to the touchpad i'm gonna have press the lower right corner of the touchpad to right click no longer shown in touchpad settings if unsupported and also we're not really sure if only 23h2 is receiving this but i'm guessing that 24h2 will also get it the new simplified date inside the system tray with the new options show abbreviated time and date and also the hidden notification bell icon that you can enable through the setting inside setting system and then notifications of course we're expecting the modernized taskbar thumbnails with the new animations new transitions between apps and I think that is looking pretty nice, as you can see, with the larger thumbnails, the larger titles, and rounded corners. I think they're looking pretty good. Also, the new option, we're holding shift plus control and clicking a jump list item in the taskbar slash the start menu. We'll launch it as an admin. Also, we're going to get jump lists for pin start menu apps. In the file explorer, we're also going to get the source code and then control integration with dev home and changes to dynamic lighting that were previously announced in the dev and beta channel. Basically, some new message that you receive whenever dynamic lighting is not available on your device and also some new options for certain effects for wave and also the gradient also finally some improvements for the test manager where in the performance section discs are now labeled by type for example nvme in my case and also we have some redesigned dialogues for example on a disconnected user you're going to see this updated dialogue are you sure you want to disconnect the selected user have the option to disconnect it these are basically the main things that we can expect of course microsoft can include some other small things but these are the main things that i mentioned as i've said I'm not going in depth with anything. We're going to do an in depth video whenever this update is released as a preview. So, for more information, you can check out the article below or Phantom of Earth on Twitter because he helped me gather these features and the information for this video. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.